Today, we will answer a geometry challenge inspired by the Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad. And here's the question. In a right triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Now, point D is the midpoint of BC and E is on AC such that DE bisects angle ABC. If DE equals BC equal to, then what is the length of segment AD? Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the length of segment AD. Now, to answer this question, we will use two different methods. The first one is by using trigonometric functions, and the other one is by using our favorite algebra approach. Now, let's begin with the first method using trigonometric functions. Alright, so let's use the given information. D equals 2. DC equals 2 units. Since BD is equivalent to DC, BD is also 2 units. Now from here, let's create a circle centered at D such that point B, point E, point C is on the circle D. Now why is this important? Because if we draw a chord BE, we can say that this angle is technically a 90 degrees. This triangle BEC is a right triangle because its hypotenuse is the diameter of this circle. So if we have a triangle with the hypotenuse is the diameter of this circle, then we can say that the triangle form is technically a right triangle. Now going back, so we know this is a right triangle. Now, to answer this, let's call this angle B equal to theta. And using this right triangle BEC, we can now rewrite EC and BE in terms of sine and cosine. So we know BC is 4 units. And let's call this side, this is B and this is C. So using trigonometric function, we can say that sine theta equals b over 4, the opposite side over the hypotenuse, and cosine of theta is equivalent to c, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And from here, we can say that b is equivalent to 4 times sine theta, and this c is equivalent to 4 times cosine theta. b is 4 sine theta, and c is 4 times cosine theta. And also, ce is equivalent to 4 times sine theta, and BE is 4 times cosine theta. Now, from here, let's call this angle B equal to gamma. Why not? And theta plus gamma equals 90 degrees because this is an acute angle of a right triangle. Now, given this right triangle ABC, if angle C is gamma, angle A is technically equal to beta. Now consider this right triangle BEA, if this angle A is theta, this angle ABE is technically gamma. So we can say that this small right triangle is similar to this big right triangle and also similar to this medium right triangle. So now, using their similarity, triangle BEC and triangle AEB, we can say that the ratio of their corresponding sides are congruent. So AB over BE equals BC over CE. Also, AE over BE equals B over CE. Now from here, let's get the value of AB and AC in terms of sine and cosine or other trigonometric function. We have AB over BE is 4 times cosine theta, BC is 4, and CE is 4 times sine theta. Now this 4 cancel out, this is just 1. So we can say that AB is equivalent to 4 times cosine theta over sine theta. But cosine theta over sine theta is technically equivalent to cotangent theta. So AB is 4 times cotangent theta. Now, how about this AE? So BE is 4 times cosine theta. BE is again 4 times cosine theta. CE is 4 times sine theta. This 4 and 4 cancel out this is just 1. Cosine over sine is cotangent theta. 
So, AE is equivalent to 4 times cotangent theta times cosine theta. And we can now replace this side AB with 4 times cotangent theta and this segment AE with 4 times cotangent theta times cosine theta. And now, at this point, what we need here is this AD. So, using this information that DE bisect angle ADC, we can use the angle bisector theorem. So, if we have two angles that is congruent, we can say that A over B equals C over D or A over C is equal to B over D. So, in our figure, we can say that AD over AE equals DC over CE. Now, AE is equivalent to 4 times cotangent theta times cosine theta. DC is 2 and CE is 4 times sine theta. This is just 2. So we can say that AD is equivalent to 2 times cotangent theta times cosine theta over sine theta. But cosine theta over sine theta is cotangent theta. So AD, we can say that AD is 2 times cotangent squared theta. So using this three information or this right triangle BAD, we can now get the value of AD. So using those values, we can use the Pythagorean theorem and replace the values of AB and C with 4 times cotangent theta, 2 and 2 times cotangent squared theta. Now, let's simplify. 4 times cotangent squared theta, this is just 16 cotangent squared theta, plus 2 squared is 4, and 2 times cotangent squared theta raised to the power of 2 is 4 times cotangent to the 4th theta. Now from here, let t be equal to cotangent squared theta to make this equation simple. So I have 16t plus 4 equals 40 squared. Now, equate this to 0. And all of these coefficients are divisible by 4. So let's divide all of this by 4. If t squared minus 40 minus 1 equals 0. Now, using the quadratic formula, let's get the value of t. But take note, t is cotangent squared theta. And we want 2 times cotangent squared theta. So using the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus, square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, we cannot get the value of t. This is just 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times negative 1 all over 2. 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times negative 1 is plus 4 or simply this is 20. And this 20, we can rewrite this as 2 times square root of 5. Now, t here cannot be a negative number. So we don't care to the negative value of this t. So we care about 4 plus 2 times square root of 5 all over 2. And also take note that we want here 2t or 2 times cotangent squared theta. So let's multiply this equation by 2 and we get that 2t is equivalent to 4 plus 2 times square root of 5. Which is 2 times cotangent squared theta. And also this is the length of segment AD. So we can say that AD is equivalent to 4 plus 2 times square root of 5 units. And this is our answer using trigonometric functions. So now, let's use the algebra approach. Alright, so let's begin. Now let's call this segment AD be equal to X. And also, we know that B is 2, DC is 2, and B, D is 2. And also, we know from the previous solution that if we connect this B, E, we created a right triangle. And also, triangle B, E, C is similar to triangle A, E, B is also similar to triangle A, B, C, the whole right triangle. So using those information, we can now solve for the value of X. So first, let's use this right triangle B, A, D. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that AB is equivalent to square root of x squared minus 2 squared, or simply x squared, square root of x squared minus 4. 
Now, how about AC? So using the Pythagorean theorem on triangle BAC, we can say that AC is equivalent to the square root of the following quantity square root of x squared minus 4 raised to the power of 2 plus 4 squared or BC squared. Now simplify. This is just square root of x squared minus 4. Cancel out square root and squared. So this is x squared minus 4. 4 squared is 16. And negative 4 plus 16 is positive 12. So AC is x squared of x squared plus 12. Now from here, recall that we can draw a circle centered at D. And this point B, E, and C are on the circle D. Now why is this important? Because from here we will use what we call the second tangent rule. So it says that the product of the length of the second and its external segment equals the square of the length of the tangent segment. So in this figure, PA is a second. So PA times PB equals PC raised to the power of 2. Now on our figure, AC is a second. So we want AC times AE is equivalent to AB raised to the power of 2. But before we use the second tangent rule, we need to find first this segment AE, which is the external segment of this segment AC. So how do we get AE? So using this information that DE bisect angle ABC. So again, we will use the angle bisector theorem. So A over C equals B over D or A over B equals C over D. In our figure, we can say that AD over AE equals DC over CE, which is equivalent to X over AE equals 2 times CE. Now, getting the value of AE, we get that AE is equivalent to X times the length of CE over 2. Now, let's set aside this result. And let's get the value of CE. And to find the value of CE, we will use the similarity of triangle BEC, AEB, and ABC. So we can say that CE over BC equals BC over AC. Now, BC is equivalent to 4, and AC is equivalent to square root of x squared plus 12. It follows that CE is equivalent to 16 over square root of x squared plus 12. Now, we can now get the value of AE. So this is just this expression multiplied by x over 2. Now, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Therefore, AE is equivalent to 8x all over square root of x squared plus 12. Now, we are now ready to find the value of segment AD or this segment x. So using second tangent rule, we can say in our figure we have AC, the second, times AE, the external segment of the second AC, times the tangent AB raised to the power of 2. Now AC is square root of x squared plus 12. AE is 8x all over square root of x squared plus 12 equals AB or square root of x squared minus 4 raised to the power of 2. Now, this is just 1 for sure, and we can eliminate the square root and squared. So our equation is just 8x equals x squared minus 4. And we can now easily find the value of x. So let's equate this to 0 and use the quadratic formula. And quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, x is equivalent to 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared minus 4 times negative 4 all over 2. 8 squared is 64. This is positive 16. And 64 plus 16 is 80. And 80, we can rewrite 80 as 16 times 5 or just 4 times square root of 5. Now simplify, 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So x equals 4 plus or minus 2 times square root of 
5. But take note, x cannot be a negative number because x is a side length. So we don't care to the negative value of this x. Therefore, this x is AD. So we can say that AD is equivalent to 4 plus 2 times square root of 5. And that is our answer to this question. So given this figure, and using two different methods, trigonometric functions or trigonometric approach and algebraic approach, we get that the length of AD is equivalent to 4 plus 2 times square root of 5. And as always, we are done.